hot, Holly. All right, it is 1045. That means it's time for a little yeah. lights, camera, McCarthy. I love being in here with Chris. I love having him this in here. We got to get Kevin's yeah. logo, though. We, we need do. that monitor graphic up there. There, there we is. go. Look at that. Look at that handsome, that handsome face. face. That's yeah, right. Yeah, not, not at all. Kevin, yeah, this yeah. morning we're going from euphoria yeah. to Elvis, though. Yeah. Talk to me about it. And so this is a movie called Priscilla. I'm a big Sofia Coppola fan. I think she's one of my favorite filmmakers working today. The Bling Ring, uh, The Beguiled, uh, as well as obviously Lost in Translation, uh, Marie Antoinette. Uh, she's taking on the, the story of Priscilla. This is actually based on Priscilla's uh, book. And the deal here is that it starts off with Priscilla at the age of 14 years old. She meets Elvis when he was 24. And about their relationship and how it evolved over the years and the idea that her parents let her go off with Elvis at that age. Very interesting story. Very fascinating to look at. And Kaylee Spaney as well as playing Priscilla. Jacob Elordi, who you mentioned in Euphoria. Brilliant, brilliant actor on Euphoria if you haven't seen it. So I talked to both of them and there is an interim agreement for this movie, which means that I was able to talk to the cast of this because the movie itself has a deal with SAG-AFTRA. A lot of actors right now cannot do press, but this movie got an interim agreement. You were seeing some footage just now from Euphoria. Now we're back to Priscilla footage as well. And we will talk about the other Elvis film on the other side of this interview. Here's my interview with Jacob Elordi and Kaylee Spaney all about Priscilla. I love the way a character can be played in terms of an actor stepping into someone's shoes and living the life of that person and seeing the world through their eyes. And you cover over a decade of time of being these people. I wonder what life perspective you gain from that uh, in terms of your own self. Like, What will you take from Elvis? What will you take from Priscilla into your own lives? And does it give you perspective to spend that much time with somebody? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. It was like you're in succession. That's what I was thinking. That oh, oh, thanks, man. Um, <laughs> it is a compliment. Um, um, yeah, I, I, you definitely take a, away uh, a lot, especially you know Elvis's experience is so singular. Um, but I think I think f for me it made me very weary of uh, of fame and excess, um, and also kind of it is uh, the the it taught me the lesson that it's it's never worth laying down your guns or. Uh, you know, selling out for something, I think, to, to always sort of stay true to your art, um, because the consequences, if you don't, can be f fatal. This one in particular, I, you know, she lives in such a heightened world in this bubble, but there's so many things that she goes through that I think a lot of people can relate to, and especially young women, and I, I, I think <clears> that, <throat> especially when you're falling in love for the first time, I think it's one of the greatest feelings when it's happening and you'll sort of give anything up for, to keep yeah. that, you know? And she had that in such an extreme way. And so, um, yeah, if, if you've gone through something like that and maybe it's not a person, but it's a job or it's family, or so, you know, sort of losing yourself in something and trying to find your way back. I love the details of filmmaking. Jacob, I was paying attention to like how you would move your hands a bit. You'd put your hand in your pocket during a scene. You'd hold your hand over a certain way. There's just little things that speak to the characters. I was curious about how you did the album cover shoots because I loved all the different images of you that were put on these records, these famous records. And I'm wondering, like, was that done in like a day or two? Did you like do it in between your takes as an actor? Because you have to be in character for those moments. And I'm wondering how those yeah. were done. We did it before we started the movie. So we shot them in pre-production. We did two days uh, huh. in the studio. And we had uh, the team had put together this amazing collection of reference boards. And luckily, in my research, I'd kind of come across all of these sort of phases and physicalities and moments. Um, so it was really just playing, uh, you know, uh, trying to find... Uh, you know, trying to replicate the images. I was kind of... I'd been in character from when I got to Toronto, so it was kind of easy uh, e easy, to, easy enough to move in and out of. You know, Kaylee, one of the things that I think it's tr that's really uh, interesting about your performance and also one of the more powerful elements of it is your character, you're going back to playing someone who's 14 years old, but you're playing somebody with an older soul. This person definitely feels older than 14. And I'm just wondering, as you go back and play someone who's 14 years old, what were you like at 14? Did it, did you tap in at all into yourself from those years and did it all bring back anything? I know you're playing somebody else. Well, when I sat down with Priscilla and we were talking about her at that age and that was something that she was always being told was she was an old soul and I got that countless times when I was around that age too. And uh, I think it's, fu it's funny, uh, you know, Priscilla at 14 begging her parents to be with this man that she sort of 
knew she wanted to be with and was in love with. And, and I, at that age, at 14, I was trying to convince my parents that I had convinced myself I was going to go to L.A. and uh, be an actress. All right, that's uh, Kaylee Spaney as well as Jacob Alordi. I'm Jacob Alordi, you know, you know from Euphoria. And uh, Chris, you were talking about, yeah, you had a question about something. Yeah, I yeah. could talk to you about this for hours. Yeah. I'm a huge Elvis fan. But huge. we have to talk about the elephant in the room, yeah. or in this case, the Austin Butler in the room. He obviously yeah. got so much attention for that Oscar-nominated yeah. role previously in Baz Luhrmann's Elvis. What's right. kind of different about these two movies? There's a lot of differences. So this new movie, Priscilla, does not have any of Elvis's music in it. They did not get the rights to use the music. Strike also, one. Yeah. Also, Baz Luhrmann's film was really about his whole career. Uh, the Priscilla film focuses primarily on the relationship between Priscilla and Elvis. So it's a very intimate film. You're actually at home a lot with Elvis. You're not a lot of performance moments. The Colonel's barely in it, barely mentioned at all, the Tom Hanks character. Very different film. If you're looking for a major biopic of Elvis, that's Baz Luhrmann's movie. But if you're looking mm -hmm. for more of an intimate idea of what his life was like outside of stardom and how he dealt with normal relationships or abnormal relationships, uh, this is a very fascinating story of a 14-year-old girl who meets Elvis at 24 and then her parents give her permission to go off with Elvis. Yeah. It's a really wild story. And that was basically story. like a five-minute scene in that Baz Luhrmann Elvis Exactly, so, yeah. Very so Priscilla, different. Worth seeing both. Oh, yeah. And this one's great. It hits theaters on Friday. And uh, shout out to Sofia Coppola, um, an amazing filmmaker, obviously following in her father's footsteps. Uh, are you rapping?